Nikki of Rev Access Customs. This is just an update video to the Free Wheel Reliant Regal build. Um, since the first video, we've done quite a few more development work on the car. We've designed and printed a new gearbox, which is not only lower, but it's also offset the weight to the left to give us a bit more balance left to right. Um, and we've also got a new Rocket 13 and half turn motor and fan, which is from Surpass USA. It's, we've run it and it's been an awesome motor. And also we have updated the shocks to be a dual shock setup. Um, we were finding we're hurting around the last shock quite stiff to get the front end from drooping. Um, the new dual shock setups actually allowed us to run a much softer front end, which has made quite a big difference. And sort of, and also we had we're trying out some new tires. These are just some no brand Chinese tires, and actually quite a soft compound. We're still trying to find the right balance of grip front to rear. Um, currently as you can see we're getting a bit of odd wear pattern on the inside edge but that's because we've got a little bit of play in the hub. Um, the hub itself is only a cheap HSP hub so you sort of get what you pay for. And in the rear we are currently now running MSD Golds. Um, they have definitely given us a bit more grip but we may look at changing to the silvers because I think we had a little bit too much speed in terms of speed and control just once again still trying to find that balance um, we do have a body underway for this as well um, some pictures of it here um, we've currently 3d printed it but we are hoping to also be able to mold it as a polycar body just because of the weight um, too much weight on the drift cars but not going to be a great thing uh, another thing we're looking at upgrading in the future is putting a new ESC in it. Um, we're currently running a Hobbywing 60 amp ESC which is quite a few years old. Um, we started having issues at the last meeting with it cutting in and out. So we're looking at replacing that and possibly also replacing our steering servo. Currently we're running the Trackstar servo. We're starting to have a little bit of issues with it. Um, don't know whether it's the servo or the gyro itself. So we're probably going to start with the servo and get a you know, co nice fast response servo and then see if that fixes our problem. If not, we're going to look at getting another gyro. Um, the gyro is a Hobby King gyro, which is the same as the Sky RC gyro and the Year Racing. They're all the same, just different stickers on them. So we're just going to go through step by step and just get this car ironed out. And then we're going to also look at marketing this in the future. Um, one plan we have is to also relocate our servo from back here and hopefully see if we can work it into our into our arm and still get the same sort of lock which we're pretty sure we're going to be able to get something to fit in there it'll end up being a low profile possibly just to save a little bit of space but that's the next thing we're going to play with before we take a track take it back to the track and you know hopefully we get get some more gains like we've definitely made a lot of, a lot of improvement from the last, first time we were there um, we are possibly going to also look at making up some brass um, plates that bolt onto the inside of the rim, into the four, into the bolts that you can see there. Um, we changed the front rim over to an alloy rim as well, which gave us another 40 grams of weight in the front, which has helped as well. But we were running about 100 in total last time, so we're hoping to get a brass spacer machined up, which will give us that extra 60 grams to bring us up to the 100 grams we were running on the nose, and hopefully give us a little bit more front bite. I mean, this is something completely different, you know, we haven't built anything like this before, so it's all trial and error. Um, it's definitely going a lot better already at this stage than what we thought it might. I mean, it hasn't rolled yet. Um, yeah, so, you know, keep an eye out on the videos. We're going to keep updating every time we make improvements to this, so don't forget to subscribe, you know, and keep an eye on our Facebook as well. We'll be posting pictures on there and also our Instagram. Um, if there's any companies who want to reach out to us and possibly have an ESC or some parts they want us to put on this car to help promote them because this has been a huge uh, car for us and it's brought a lot of attention so if anyone wants anything you know wants to try anything wants to ask any questions even just you know reach out to us ask some questions you know we'll get back to you you know we're not trying to hide anything you know this is the car um, you know, we're not hiding nothing we just want to you know build something cool that's different and get out there and have some fun so yeah, thanks for that. Until the next one, have a good one.